Hi there YouTube, I've got a very weird question for you and hopefully one of you out there knows the answer. Now, I'm trying to connect my PlayStation 2 to my laptop. This might be very simple, this might be very difficult, I don't know. I'll tell you what ports I have on my laptop and then I'll tell you the various cables I have, whether they're going to work or not is, a, is you know, beyond me. Um, so the ports on my laptop are, I have three USB ports, I have a network port, and I have a port that looks like it's for attaching an external monitor. So if I wanted to connect my laptop to my computer's monitor for whatever reason. Now we all know that the PlayStation has your standard red, white and yellow uh, output. Which can be put into a SCART if you want to plug it into your SCART. You can plug it into one of these things if you want to use uh, you know, S video you, know, you can plug the red, white and yellow things into here that into the back of your TV if you want a slightly better picture and things and the port on the side of my laptop for my monitor actually looks like this This is another one for some reason, um, cause, and that's attached to the other side of this. This is the two ways of putting something into an S video. Right. So I have that cable, and I have, I have this interesting device, which is a three-way input uh, thing, you know. Much like a multiple SCART lead, but well, this is a multiple red, white, and yellow lead. The game's like the BS to blue one. Um, and that has three different inputs that you can select. I have this cable. Now, this one will plug in to the side of my laptop. On the other end of this cable, for some reason, is an RGB cable. Yeah, why well, I've got a red, green and blue cable that could be plugged in to a laptop, I have no idea. Uh, and I'll explain where, what all these cables are from in just a few minutes. I also have an RGB cable that has the exact same ports on the other side. Yeah. Weird, doesn't it? And last but not least, completely unrelated, but I'd love to know what the fuck it is, I have a cable that's got um, like a headphone jack one side and a white and red thing the other side. I think that's for a specific type of speaker or to go into a certain machine or something, you know. I have no idea what that's for and I really don't care. So I have all those cables. Now what I want to connect my lap uh, place my PlayStation to to my laptop for is to either A record gameplay videos, so I need to be able to connect the PlayStation 2 to the laptop and have it display whatever's going on PlayStation 2 on this instead of on my TV so that I can just record what's going on much in the way I can record what's happening on YouTube and that sort of thing or be able to connect my TV to my laptop so that my laptop can display what usually would be displayed on the TV now I know both of these can be done, but I don't know how to do them. 
Now the ports on the back of my TV are a HDMI port, a SCART uh, port, um, another one of those ones for attaching a monitor for whatever reason, like the one inside of my laptop, and a red, yellow and white port, and something that looks like a very large memory card reader or something, and, and a headphone jack. <laughs> so that's all the ports from this and that. You obviously know what ports on the PlayStation 2. You've got two USB ports on the front. You've got the thing for plugging in the output to the TV in the back and some kind of other output thing that confuses the hell out of me. And I want to know what I need to be able to connect my PlayStation 2 or my TV to my laptop. So I can use my laptop as a display. Whether it be a display from directly from the PlayStation 2 or a display of what would normally be shown on the TV. It doesn't really matter either way, the display of my PlayStation will be shown on my laptop. I need to know what cables I need or what I need to buy. I also, somewhere, have a double sided USB. Fuck knows what that's for. It's got a USB thing at both ends. Uh, I've already tried plugging that into the PlayStation 2 and into the USB port of my laptop. All that did was turn my laptop off. <laughs> no idea whether I wanted to do that or not. Probably not. It doesn't seem to have affected either machine. But yeah, those are the wires I have. Um, oh yeah, the other port sticking out the back of the PlayStation is a, is a network port like the one inside of my laptop. I don't know whether plugging something into both of them will make any difference. I know you can use that as a way of connecting your PlayStation to your internet using your laptop, but I don't think it does anything else. If I can connect my PlayStation or my TV to my laptop using my existing cables, how do I make my laptop realise that I've plugged something in? Because I've tried wiring it all up and my laptop doesn't realise that I've plugged something in. Now this might be because this might be because red, green and blue is different to red, white and yellow and I mean they're essentially the same cable really. It's just a different kind of thing on the end, it's still it's basically a cable, that's all it is. Just you've used them for different things, but in different colours of pointless, really. Because I've used one of these cables when I should have been using red, white, and yellow before, anyway. It's not made any fucking difference. Um, but the difference between red, white, and yellow and red, green, and blue eludes me. I mean, I know one is used for one thing and one is used for the other, essentially. But if you're plugging the two into each other, which of the red, white and yellows will correspond to the red, green and the blue? Uh, now I need to uh, connect my PlayStation 2 to my laptop or connect my TV to my laptop so that I can record what's going on on either of them. So I can make gameplay videos without having to point my webcam at my TV anymore. People obviously, people keep complaining about the terrible quality of when I do that, and uh, it's not my fault. Now I can't go afford to go out and buy a component cable or a VGA converter thing or a capture card because I haven't got the money to do so. And 
until I have the money to do so, I'm screwed. So I'm having to make use of various cables and things that I have in the house. I have lots of different cables. My only issue is that the monitor port, let's call it the monitor port, on the side of my laptop may only be output and all the ports on my TV may only be input. In which case, I should be able to use my TV as a second monitor for my laptop, which also hasn't worked. Now I know this port on the side of my laptop works because I've connected my computer monitor to it. It's a shame I can't connect my laptop to my tower. But again, I have the problem with the ports. So, if there's any way of doing it, and I need any more cables to go with those assortments, and you know exactly how to wire it up to Jerry Rig it, that would be helpful. Um, be helpful to know any other cables I need, other than component cables, VGA converters, or capture cards. Um, also, is it possible using the network um, port to connect a cable from that to my computer tower and connect it to the internet using my laptop's internet connection? Because that would be an interesting thing for me to do. But other than that, Everything seems to be perfectly fine. <laughs> so yeah, any help would be greatly appreciated. And you would be rewarded by seeing lots and lots and lots of different gameplay videos from me in the near future. And I know that a lot of people like to watch my stuff. So the more stuff you allow me, you're helping me create, the more stuff you're able to watch. So yeah, any help would be greatly appreciated. Uh, if you don't know how I can do it, then that's fine too. But yeah, thank you for watching this video, and you'll see me again soon. Mm -hmm.